standing on Pertama on the phrase tree. Hello everyone, my name is Lia. Nowadays, many people inquire into themselves game. In this dim society, there are some beautiful news which makes our mind work. There is one person who gives us the impressions. Her name is Yu Jiang Su. Today, we are going to learn about her life before she married Park Chang Hee, her warm heart, her last moment, and her funeral. Now, let's talk about her. She was born in Chengchengbukdo, Oak Chan. She went to Chukang Elementary School, the Hoggers High School, and became a teacher at Oak Chang Girls Middle School. In 1950, she got away from work by going to Busan. Press and Prime made her through the good offices of his younger student. They married and she gave birth to one son and two daughters. In 1961, Press and Press succeeded the political change of surgery. And in 1963, he became the sixth president at the general election. Even though she was in a high position, she didn't spend a lot of her money. She wore Korean clothes and conserved everything. Also, she gave President Park advice so he could run the government right. She built a children's center in Namsan and composed a children's grand park in Guidong, Seoul. She visited orphanages nursing home, and repair colony to hold their hands every year. When it rained in the city, they suffered from drought. She was glad to death and getting rain with her husband. Like this, she showed a bit for money. But sadly, she was killed by Moon se in the National Theater, which was held a celebration of independence. There were many policemen and bodyguards, but nobody saved her. Her funeral service was held by the best state funeral for nine days. Actually, she was a political scapegoat for her husband. So, all nations cried. People sang the ceremony of her death in Gyeongbukgun, 19th August and 10 o'clock. Representatives from all over the world attended and all of them respected her memory. When nations were tired, she gave her love to them. Even though now, many people remember and love her. We cannot forget her because she left many things for us. Her life is given us unsparingly. Now, we should take over her mind. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Any questions? So, uh, her husband, President Park, is often considered a dictator in Korea. So, if she gave him advice, maybe some people might say that she helped him I don't know, she was part of the dictatorship, so what do you think about that? Mm. Some people think he was a dictator, but I think he wasn't because he made Korean economy develop, and I don't think she intended to, uh, intended to advise press or press to be a dictator. She just wanted to have her nations and develop Korea.